Hi Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out what's coming up for you within 24 hours. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 24th of May, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 4... 4 51 p.m <laughs> please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for gemini libra and aquarius if you were to finally guided to watch this video this message is meant for you even if you're dealing with the same sign spirits and angels please show me for gemini libra and aquarius what's coming up for them within 24 hours Please bear in mind that there are a lot of details in this reading that may or may not resonate with you from the beginning to the end. Three cups and reverse at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Hmm. Magician, you are going to be manifesting. One second, please actually looking for never mind uh yeah there it is <laughs> my crystal um hmm. magician here for me indicates manifestation so some of you are going to try and manifest something and this manifestation the devil in reverse feels like it's you trying to release something okay trying to release something and try to move on from it with the six of swords and this applies to those of you through swords if you've been feeling really sad heartbroken in regards to a connection that is unhealthy that's just for some of you and then we've got the hangman here it feels like a sacrifice and the sun. You're going to see something very clearly that maybe this person is just not worth sacrificing for, okay? For some of you, the page of cups here can indicate uh, some good news coming in, okay? Someone may tell you something where I, I see a, a an overlap, okay? Something about you walking away from a situation, from a person, but also at the same time, you're going to be hearing some good news with the Page of Cups and the sun right next to it. It's almost like, okay, I'm heartbroken, I'm sad, I need to detach from this thing, from this situation, from this person, but then at the same time, you're going to be hearing some good news that's going to make you feel really, really happy, okay? Hmm, this is interesting. And be aware of, you know, the ma magician can be a scammer, a manipulator. Be careful of an individual around you who may be a scammer or manipulator. Um, they may try to, with the devil in reverse, manipulate you into committing into something, okay? That spirits could be encouraging you to, warning you rather, six of swords, to walk away from this person, don't entertain this person, okay? The fool here is a verse. So this person is going to make everything look so good, right? Because the magician and the six of wands, it's like this person is going to, it's going to pretend that whatever that you're going to be committing um, to, that could be coming from their suggestion, we may not be the truth okay this would be a mistake so something about watching out for an individual who is trying to persuade you or convince you to commit to something that might be a mistake okay within 24 hours just a warning for some of you but generally i see you detaching right doing the best that you can to detach from a, a toxic environment or a toxic connection or situation Mm, spirit stuff is saying yeah it may hurt at this moment or that you may feel a little bit of hurt and pain but it's all gonna be worth it okay because the sun being the last card here it's a very very positive sign to me that everything is gonna be okay hmm. 
It also looks like when one door closes, another door will open for some of you. Let's see more. Yeah, strength. Then we've got the chariot in one verse. See, the strength is like a persuasion kind of thing, right? Because this angel could be persuading, trying to persuade the lion, taming the lion, right? It's it's um it's definitely right now this moment it feels like a persuasion, right? You know, adjacent to the uh, magician here. So be very careful of this individual or somebody whom could be um, someone who seems way too persuasive, like a car salesman, <laughs> like a salesman in general, okay? So watch out for that individual here, because Three of Cups and verse, the Chariot and verse, it says that it's whatever they promise you, they're not going to deliver. Uh, whatever they promise you, you may not be, it, it's, it's a deceit, yeah, it's a deception, yeah. So be careful of someone trying to deceive you. This can be anybody trying to sell you something or um, someone you could be romantically connected with. So your swords can indicate you feeling like sad. If you were to have them persuade you, if you were to fall into their trap, you might get heartbroken here with the three of swords. Because this person seems like a sweet talker as well with page of cups. They're going to sell you something that may seem kind of unrealistic, okay? But you will see eventually with the, st uh, the sun here that you should be walking away, ignoring this person, this offer, this persuasion, okay? I keep hearing persuade, persuade. Someone is going to try and persuade you to do something, okay? Whatever it could be. But just... Um, be careful, that's what I'm seeing here, okay? Son of Cups and one verse, Nine of Wands, Five of Pentacles. This could be related to money, to your career, um, or selling you dreams, selling you something that just doesn't seem realistic. Again, make sure that there are facts that are accompanied with whatever this person is trying to sell you here, okay? Some of you, it could be someone manipulative in your life that you could be, again, romantically linked to. They may persuade you, persuade to see you, but then the strength can be quite a, a bit of a sexual energy. And same goes to the natal ones here. So for those of you, if you get persuaded to sleep with someone, it could be an ex or it could be someone new with the Three of Swords and the Page of Cups, the sign would be that this person is going to be very, like, a sweet talker will be love bombing you. And that could be uh, a red flag. Look at this. The the heart here. It's red. This person, and look at the magician wearing red as well. And look at the six of wands wearing red. The lion kind of borderline looks red. And the nine of wands here as well. So a lot of red flags. So Spirit's going to be saying to keep an eye on those red flags. Even though the packaging may look good, may look enticing, but but it is not. <laughs> it's not good for you. It's going to make you feel um, a certain way that it's not good, okay? And if it has something to do with money, Five of Pentacles is a bankruptcy card for me. So be careful if somebody trying to sell you something or say want to borrow money from you, whatever. It could be anything, but be aware of that, okay? Because... This person might leave you out in the cold. And whatever that you thought you were going to gain from this thing that you're going to be committing to or accepting or help, it's not going to be something that will pan out the way that you expect it to be or what is going to be promised to you, okay? Three of Pentacles here, some of you could be um, working or working with people. The Pentacles is also a work in progress. Some of you, you literally could be manifesting, you know, building something for yourself within uh, 24 hours. Could be building a home, redecorating your home, redesigning your home, or it could just be you redesigning your work schedule, work format. There's something that you are going to be working on to fix or to make it better or more efficient for you or spirits could be encouraging you to do that okay hmm. 
for some of you what i'm seeing here your success is going to be somebody's heartbreak okay somebody may see you being successful and it, it might make you feel somebody might see you being successful and it will make them feel heartbroken or sad and this person might reach out to you and there could also be people who like to leech on you leech on your success want to be with you hang out with you because you maybe they want to use you okay take advantage of you um wanting to rub shoulders with you so that they could be connected to you for their own benefits okay Gemini, Libra, and Chris, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs. It's my ta um, travel channel. <laughs> and also, for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos or whenever I do um, live stream, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care, Gemini, Libra, and Chris. Hope to see you back here again sooner than later. Bye.